Bahamian, what a proud day it is to be a Bahamian. To stand tall and to recognize the accomplishments of a man who is hailed the world over for his leadership style, for what he has done in championing the cause of a small nation, virtually unknown in the world, but taking such a prominent place. Sir Lyndon was the little boy from East Street who went on to become a great leader of this nation, a patriarch, and as we, as we have heard expressed many times this week, the architect of the modern Bahamas. The people of East Street and I'm sure other communities have gathered on that street to get one final glimpse of the procession that will lead their fallen hero to the Church of God Prophecy Tabernacle right on East Street. It was his desire to be churched at a church on East Street because, of course, that is where, as we say here in the Bahamas, his navel string is buried. I was told just a few yards away, he first lived in a small wooden house. A few years later, he moved to this building just to my left, his father's house. They lived at the upper level, the lower level, was a store operated by his father. But in 1975, he sold it to some Chinese businessmen. And that is the history of this place. But this is where it all started. Was the Linden Pindling, 70 years of history. And it began a legacy for him here in East Street and the people of this area commonly known as Over the Hill. Indeed, Natalie, the Over the Hill area was very significant and very instrumental, and this is indeed a dreadful day for persons who came from the Over the Hill area and who now reside in this area for Sir Linden Pindling, for he, is, he looms larger than a giant for these people. It was here that the 1942 riot, he depended on these people who helped to protest. Um, the wage was then for two dollars for for the airport to be built and they decided against that and the people from here went and they there was a riot on Bay Street and he brought them back to over the hill, the southern recreation ground which is just a few, few blocks away. Yes, Natalie, the Royal Bombs Defense Force was officially formed in 1980 with the passage of the Defense Force Cortez is just arriving. Members of the Royal Bahamas Police Force have just passed by and they are making their way. The Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, is right behind the casket, followed by uh, the leader of the opposition, Mr. Perry Christie. They are followed by other members of the armed um, forces who are close behind them and they are making their way. Michelle, I can tell you the streets are lined with people. To the protocol staff who yes. have to bear the brunt of our national events like this, I, I know from my own previous experience that uh, that is not an easy job, and I, I think they'll be congratulated so far for the things that have happened. had to change. Things must be different. Human dignity must be restored. It does not matter who you are or where you were born, but where you are heading. And so God asked Moses to go down and be his deliverer. And Moses said, Lord, when I talk to these people, they've been in this idolatrous place so long, they're going to want to know who sent me. And he says, tell them that I am that I am, the ever-living God. And I'm so glad that that God is still alive today. He hasn't changed, and he will be alive forevermore. The living God will provide for his people all the time if they have faith and confidence in his word. <laughs>